Hey guys, um, welcome to episode three of my Traxxas slash uh, semi-race build. I should pretty much call it a casual race car uh, build. And yeah, like I said, this is episode three of the build. Uh, previously, I was actually working on the suspension, uh, tuning them up, uh, which now my slash is actually running off a 50% 50 weight shock oil on the rear and 90 weight shock oil on the front. So, with that all, that all aside, let's go ahead and talk about what's going to be happening in this episode. So today, I'm actually going to be gluing some short course wheels and tires. So, uh, I was going to go use a regular Traxxas slash wheels and tires, but they told me that they will not work with the application that I'm going to be using. Uh, the tire application that I'm going to be using will not work with the slash, unfortunately, from what they told me. So, I actually got one of these. These are actually DE Racing Trinidad uh, six-spoke wheels. I kind of wanted a five-lug, uh, not five-lug, five-spoke looking rims. That's why I wanted the slash, the stock slash rims, but they don't have any um, five-spoke style wheels for this kind of application. So, eh, oh well. I, I gotta work what I gotta work with. And um, for tires, I actually got Proline Hole Shot. Uh, these are a M3 compound tires. Uh, so it has the green, uh, green dot right there. So, yep, that's what it's gonna ha have right now. Uh, my local RC track is a hard packed dirt, so it's going to have these kind of tires here. So, um, for tire glue, I'm actually using uh, Team Losi Racing tire glue. Uh, it's essentially just CA glue, and uh, this is just a little attachment tip. And then also to clean the bead off of the tire, I'm actually going to be using some rubbing alcohol. So, aside from that, I think it's ready to go. I really just love it how these RC accessory brands always gives us little stickers to have. <laughs> I love that. So let's begin uh, what's going to happen today. So um, I've actually honestly never uh, glued RC short course tires. This is actually a short course tire. I've done buggies and truggy style rims but and also on road cars but never short course trucks because with short course trucks you have a smaller diameter on the on the outside and you have a bigger diameter in the in, on the inside so this is going to be a little bit of a, a new thing for me just kind of um but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and get started with this but first of all i'm gonna what i'm gonna do is to remove the foam insert this is actually a closed cell, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, I heard that these are actually uh, tapered a little bit. I think I don't know. Like I said, I have I've never done RC short course tires before, so uh, it's a perfect opportunity for me to learn. So, yeah. Presentation on it, but you can see that there's a, a thicker side with these closed cell ones. There's a thicker side here. And there's a thinner little edge on the opposite side. The thinner edge goes towards the three inch side. Those mm -hmm. cell ones, there's a thicker side here. And there's a thinner little edge on the opposite side. The thinner edge goes towards the three inch side. You can see there's a smaller space in there compared to over here. So the thicker side has to go in here. Closed cell foams. Okay. Have a little bit of, uh, okay. I get it now. So essentially, what's. See, as you can see here, according to what Jang said, this right here has, uh, this side right here is thinner, and this side is thicker. So this side actually goes on this part, and then the thicker side, this side actually goes right here. Okay. All right, so I actually know how to, where to go from here. Oh, just like with my bandit, I have to, I fold my closed cell insert like this. Am I on the right side? Am I on the right side? No, this is, this is the right side. That, I just just do it like that see since this, this one's bigger since I drop it again so since this is bigger so I just do it like this 
and then I grab the tire and just work it in there. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm trying to do my very best to show it to you guys. Just like so. Okay, so the foam insert is now in there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna spread it out a little bit. There we go. Uh huh. Okay, so now it's in. It's in there. Sometimes I like to give it a little roll. Just a little bit of rolling movement, so at least I can have all my little bead in there and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna do this continuously, or I'll just do it that way, just to just round it off a little bit. And then I'll, after that, I'll check some for flashing in here. So yeah. So if you're wondering what flashing is, flashing is just basically mold release or basically a uh, little bit of material that um, that escapes the mold. Um, it's like imperfections here in the in the bead. So check for flashing. Uh, as you can see in this one, there's no uh, signs of flashing over here, nor on the other side right here. But on this one. Uh, this one's okay, uh, and this part right here. But if you look on the other side, right there, that is. Uh, I know you can't see it very well, but you can see that thing right there. That is flashing right there. That's flashing. So you can just either peel it off, or what I like to do is use a pair of scissors, just cut it out. Just hopefully get it out so the reason why you want to cut out f the flashing is because if you do if you don't once you put the wheel on it's not going to it's going to hamper uh, this tire to glue onto the wheel so it's always nice to always cut the excess flashing so it looks like we're all good now so yeah, no, no more flash in here. So just want to take another inspection. Nope, we're good. So I'm gonna go ahead and start working on this wheel. Uh, bring, bring the tire, bring this wheel back in there. So I'm gonna continue on watching Ultimate RC, um, how, how he does it. Before I start continuing on with uh, the Jank tutorial, like I said, um, I know how to glue tires, RC tires now. It's just the only problem I just never glued short course tires. So since this one a, has a staggered setup, I have to um, learn from another person how to do this. But first, before I actually start gluing it, I want to go ahead and start working on this. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this one because this process is pretty much the same thing. It's just like the suspension. Uh, just like doing the when I was tuning my shocks, it's pretty much a lather rinse repeat. I just just you know, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just start uh, fast forwarding this. I think I done goofed. Um, well, the tire will still roll, but I later found out with these kind of tires, actually, as you guys can probably see, eh, I don't know if the light can catch it, but uh, let me turn this off real quick. But as you can see, I'm, I'm not really doing a great job at it. <laughs> it was not until uh, this side I actually figured out how this actually works. Um, uh, I was actually, 
um, gluing on this part of the bead. That little thing that you're seeing right there. Whereas in reality, you're actually you're supposed to be gluing that piece right there because that's where actually it really does bond to the tire itself. So my mistake, but uh, I mean, I, I did kind of screw it up, but you know, it, it is round, it's still gonna roll. Um, but you know, this is probably just gonna be one tire that I end up screwing up, but I hopefully I don't screw up on this one. But uh, yeah, I mean, you do learn, like I said, this is my first time uh, doing short course tires, so um, don't expect um, this to be the greatest thing I've ever done. Um, but I'm not expecting myself to be perfect with this at all because I've never done short course tires at all. So, yeah, kind of screwed up this side right here, but you know, since it's going to be facing inside the car, it's not going to be a big deal. So what I'm gonna do now is work on the front and let's hope I don't screw this one up. Okay, so um, just a quick update. Um, like I said, not the not the greatest thing I've ever done on a short course RC tire, but uh, better than what I, better than I expected to be. Um, I was actually told that it's recommended. Oops, sorry about that. But um, they also recommended once you glue the bead, also just glue out a ring around the thing, so it prevents. Uh, tire from ballooning out that's from, from what i've heard uh jane from ultimate rc um the one i was actually watching earlier um he uh showed how to do it so yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and let this tire dry um this was actually glued on already so that's not going anywhere so I'm gonna go ahead and let this thing do its thing, obviously. And then I'll put this on, I'll put this on the side and start working on this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this one. Okay, so like I said, not the greatest thing I ever done, but um, least it's not separating. Uh, you might see a little bit of so-called separation, but that's actually because I was doing, uh, I was also gluing the the outer ring of the tire, so at least it will double up the bonding. But uh, it's not separating at all same thing on back here no signs of separ no big signs of separation at least so everything in here is all good so i guess i can say i did a job well done here even though it's not the greatest thing ever done but um it's not actually too bad actually to do short course tires they're a little bit difficult than than for say my track is bandit but you know it's it's a it's a learning process so i'm gonna go ahead and do the other ones off camera hope you guys enjoyed this and then um i'll see you guys next time for the next episode <laughs>